I go and get her then. Let's go and bring her in. Because I can now see my, uh, my... Let's have a little look. Hi. Chris. Hey. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm all good. I'm all good. Now, Chrissy G, uh, have you turned your comments off? I'm trying to. I actually don't know how to work this thing. Oh, bless your little bottom right hand corner. There's three <laughs> little dots. Click on that and you'll see uh, admin, I think it's under. I think it says admin. Oh, yeah, admin settings. Yeah, I can see it. Perfect, 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 perfect. Chrissy G, I need to ask a quick question. Two questions yeah. for my own benefit. I know you're in Liverpool. Yeah, is that near correct? Liverpool. Yeah. Near, where, where, where's near Liverpool? Just give me a part Southport. of the... Where? Southport. Oh, Southport. Now, look, I'm from Toxteth originally, so oh, I know okay. exactly where I'm I used to spend all my summers on Southport Pier and Southport Beach, so I know exactly where. <laughs> it's a nice place. place. It's lovely. It's lovely. It's lovely. It's lovely. And you are obviously not native of Liverpool originally. Where are you from originally? Lithuania. Lithuania. So I've got one word to say to you: Labas. <laughs> Labas. <laughs> Hello, you in Lithuania. That. You're gonna know. You've got to learn yeah. these things. Yeah. I didn't know that just for you. I've like, I work with a lot of Lithuanian people, so I knew I knew I knew hello. Chrissy, anyway, it's all about you tonight. Let me just pick you up and tell people about yourself. Uh, I, I want to let them know that you've got nearly 110,000 followers, as it does say on my little TV behind <laughs> me. You're not, you're not far away from 110,000. Hopefully you should get there over the weekend. Uh, you've you've posted 244 videos since you've been on, on TikTok, uh, and that equates to about 450. 51 followers per video just thought i'd work that little math out <laughs> for you and that means that every month since you've been live because you've been like you've been on tiktok since november 9 november uh, 2019 it's about seven and a half thousand followers every single month that That's is spectacular. <laughs> That's amazing i've actually look, only started posting since september wow see i looked at i see i go by what, what i see on on tiktok yeah. but obviously you know when you really started getting into it as well. So why did you choose TikTok? Um, lockdown, really. That's where it stemmed from. I feel like yeah. it, it really started with lockdown. I remember my friends were like, oh, there's this new app, TikTok. And I was just like, oh, that's so cringy. Like, I feel like the majority <laughs> of the people said the same thing. They're like, oh, my God, it's so cringy. I never get it. I'm never going to post videos. You'll never see me on it. And then it started off like I might have done like a few trends, you know, like a dance video or something like that. And I might yeah. post one of those. But then obviously ever since I got my teeth done, that's when I really started posting, which was back in September now. Oh, OK, so you were just posting some of the trends, first of all. If that, um, yeah, I might like a random video every now and then. And it would have been probably maybe like once every two, three months. Then I never would never even think to take it seriously enough. And then I feel like. I got my teeth done, which that's where we started. Yeah, your first video was you lifting a chair and the and the blow. I yeah. tried that one myself. <laughs> my wife could do it. I could never do it. I could never do it. I used to stand there stiff as anything, you know. But uh, yeah, no, it's a, it's a, it was a good trend to do. But I, let's just talk about your teeth because smile for us. <laughs> Go on, look at that. I mean, They're that's a, a three and a half thousand pound smile you got going on there, isn't yeah. it? Really. So what? Look, you were beautiful before. Why did you choose to get your teeth done? Just the confidence wise, I've always struggled with it. I mean, the thing is, is like face to face. If you met me in real life, probably you wouldn't have thought that I needed a doing because I was always smiling, yeah. I was always happy. Like it wasn't something that was one hundred percent really affecting me. But if it came to pictures or camera or anything like that, there's I don't know why, but it just picked up something color wise it just looked so much different than in real life so like when I look at pictures when I show it to my friends they're like oh my god yeah I can tell what you mean why you hated it so much but face to face no one would even realize when I said to my friends like oh I'm getting my teeth done then I was like well why you've got a nice smile and I was like no yeah. I don't I hated it yeah so I wanted to well, I wanted it done for like six seven years now but obviously it was more about doing your research making sure that it was the right place for me to go to so can I ask what you actually what you, what you had done? Did you have them new teeth or are they veneers or Crowns. what are they? Crowns. Oh, so you had you tell us what you did. And the, yeah, they, they file your teeth down and then they cap it with the crown. Wow. So it's like a whole new tooth. Yeah, basically, and yeah. Have you got a lifespan? 
Uh, they say it could up to 30 years, some longer, some shorter. <laughs> Oh, you, you need to get them done about you're only about 19 now so you got a little while before you get them done 25 anyway, to be <laughs> <laughs> i wish i was 19 oh bless you uh, why why did you choose moving to southport from uh from uh lithuania uh, my parents moved here so it wasn't my say i didn't have a choice i was 12 going 13 oh. so it wasn't if if it was my decision back then obviously that probably would have never happened i didn't speak a word of english moved to a different country oh. with nothing i didn't know anything and yeah it was a bit tough the first I love the, I maybe love, i love i love the semi-scouse accent that kicks in every now and i know again. it's so crazy i pick up like random accents anyone that i hang out with if someone's like really broad scouser then i start sounding really scouse if someone was from uh, newcastle or something i'd probably sound like them it's so crazy <laughs> i literally only takes like a couple of weeks and then that's it I, it comes out in like a weird twang Oh, wow. So back to you. I've got to go back to your teeth because I know that's what most of your posts are about. And that's probably where you've got most of your followers from. How long yeah. did it take to, to do the, the, the work? Um, I was there for like a week um, and then I had three appointments. And so also the first appointment was like a full day consultation. And then um, they basically go through what you need doing. They do your x-rays. They tell you exactly how much work you need doing and stuff. Then they give you the price list and you get to choose your material, your shade and all that stuff. And then a couple of hours later, you come back for your procedure to start. And then they put your temporary teeth on. You're then away for like three days just doing your own thing. And then you come back for your final fitting. That takes a few hours. And then you come back the next day for a final checkup. So in between, like I actually had a really nice girls holiday. Wow. Was it painful? Um, the numbing injections were the worst part for me. And then I didn't feel anything else in between. And then when, the, when they start wearing off, obviously you just take a dose of painkillers and antibiotics. And, yeah. then that, and then that's fine. So just the in-between period of it wearing off and taking waiting for the paracetamol to kick. It's like a weird pressure. But other than that, there was like no pain. I ate fine. I was still out and about doing my own thing. And what's everyone's reaction when they when they knew you before? Because obviously we only know you from your videos, you know, but yeah. people that know you in real life, when they see you and they look at you, what you look, what your teeth were like before, what they're like now, what's the reaction? Uh, I mean, most people that I knew, so when I was, I didn't tell everyone when I was getting it done. I only told my close friends. It wasn't something I was like sh shouting from the rooftops, like, oh my God, look at me, I'm going to go and get my teeth done. It was kind of more like I told my friends, my close friends knew, and like I work in a bar, so all of regulars knew so when I came back obviously we didn't have to wear masks yet so I was normally smiling and stuff yeah, yeah. so most of the regulars knew what they I was coming back they knew I was getting a new smile so obviously as soon as I walked in everyone was like oh my god let me see and everyone loved it but then I had like regulars that I see say like once a week like couples and families and stuff and no one noticed <laughs> so I, was, I don't know if it genuinely that's what I mean face to face maybe my smile was bright enough that no one really paid that much of attention and yeah I was like walking around like this I was like how is your day today and like most of them were just like normal and I was like do you not notice anything new about me and they're like no, I was like, oh yeah, how was Turkey? And I was like, yeah, I bought a brand new set of teeth. <laughs> and like a lot of people didn't notice. And then when I pointed it out, they're like, oh, oh my God, yeah. <laughs> Wow, yeah, absolutely. Well, it, look, it looks amazing. And you had top and bottom done as well, yeah? Yeah, so I got, yeah, 11 top and 10 bottom. And that was what, three and a half thousand pounds for both, both top and bottom? Yeah. Oh, In UK, it would have been like 20,000 or something. I'm even thinking of doing it myself now. I can imagine a bit of a <laughs> Bobby for me, you know, look as I like to call it. Is it? <laughs> I don't, know, I don't mind. Do a little bit. Sorry, go on. My my friends what? call me Colgate now. That's my new nickname. <laughs> I love. It. I, I, I like it. It's fine. Okay, so it's brilliant. It's brilliant. Let me just yeah. do a little bit of time. If you've got anyone in your life, you ask them to come over to mine because obviously we've got the Red, British Red Cross stickers on my side of the screen for yeah. you to, for people to donate to as well. Uh, and yeah. they can go on my they can go on my profile. I've got a PayPal link, and all the money that goes in that goes to there. And there's another link on there. They can also gift through TikTok. Or I don't recommend that because TikTok take a big cut, and I don't like that. Uh, hence why everything that you do on the British British Red Cross tab and on my link goes all of it goes directly to British Red Cross as well yeah um, everyone please join over thank and you and, 
And if anyone can, obviously, I've got a couple of moderators in my side. If you can connect with them as well, that would be brilliant. Uh, they do a lot of hard work. I don't look down here that often. They they look after it and make sure everything runs smooth. Uh, and they're, they're the ones behind the scenes, booking all the people and doing what needs to be done, which is brilliant. Although I booked you myself, to be fair. I've got to be honest about that. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what do you love and what do you hate about TikTok? Um, what I love, I love the freedom of it, to be honest, you know, you can be whoever you want to be, how you want to be like, I mean, would you get away with posting that stuff probably on Instagram where it's like people from your town that know who you are, and stuff yeah. like South Wales quite a small place. So, you know, if anyone sees me, <laughs> it's not something I would share day to day. I would like yeah. I wouldn't do that kind of stuff. Obviously, it's just the freedom you get knowing that probably 90% of the time people won't even know who you are. And that's like the nice thing about it. Um, yeah. What I hate is probably the algorithm. Like it doesn't make any sense. Nothing it's more. like, it like a, like a roller coaster. And it, it genuinely just, I just, I, I've stopped trying to work it out. <laughs> So well, sometimes the same with me. Sometimes my videos do really well, and then all of a sudden the next day, next, for two days, I'll get 150 views. I think, what? It doesn't make any. And, and before that, I was getting thousands. You know, but it is what it is. You just got to get on. And with sometimes it, you know? it's frustrating because obviously, like say, I've got over 100,000 followers. You think that would reflect in the views kind of that you're getting. And sometimes it really doesn't. Make, it doesn't make a difference whether you've got two million followers or yeah, I think it, 10 sometimes it really doesn't matter sometimes which is a frustrating thing because you think sometimes the following should relate to your views at least to kind I of agree. I agree. When, I go, when i go live it says i've got eight thousand and eight thousand people that are active on my the, my active followers and then you yeah. expect even one percent to come into your live but you end up with 10 or 20 people you know you think you should yeah. at least get I know, you know like even today happen, I think right? it's like 20,000 people on there and I was like okay and you know you get like 30 40 sometimes obviously the longer that you're on here I feel like the more people join but yeah. it's like the initial it's a bit crazy <laughs> I do look at some people that just don't do anything, but they've got like eleven thousand people in their live. It doesn't that doesn't make any sense. But anyway, that there's the things we hate about TikTok. Yeah, it's still, <laughs> it's still a wonderful app anyway, and you can still be a little bit different, and you can be a little bit special, and you can be amazing, yeah. and you can get nearly hundred and ten thousand followers. You don't get that on Instagram either, to be exactly. fair. So, is your niche now your? Please take this along to say your beauty. Is that is that what your need and your eyelashes? Obviously, you've got a, an eyelash yeah. business going for that as well. Yeah, I'd say so. Yeah, so I started doing like makeup tutorials, um, mm -hmm. and then yeah, just really stems from there. So obviously, started with the teeth, and then I think from there, everyone's like, oh, like I need to do, you need to do a makeup tutorial, and then that's just where it led into start doing that. I mean, I'd love to do like dancing, but I'm just, I'm, it's just not a talent on mine that I can pick up, and I can never learn them. <laughs> I know, I know, I know the feeling. I can't sing, I can't dance, but I can talk, so I'm okay with that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, were you always going to do the eyelash thing, or is that as a consequence of doing the TikToks for your teeth? Um, it's more. I mean, it's something that I wear every single day. I use all the time, and like I shop for a lot. And I feel like the last couple of months, well, well, not even the last couple of months, like this last year, I struggled to find exactly what I'm looking for. So it was more kind of based off that, more for me in a selfish way to be like, oh well, if I have something on my own and I'm 100% happy with, I get enough questions about it to make it into something that yeah. if I love it as much as like I would, and I'd wear it every time, I'm kind of good my own model to model it you know you get people that just buy it and they take pictures of it from a packet and then you don't actually know what you're getting whereas you know you it's some, something it that it's really for me so yeah, yeah i thought i'd and just start and lockdown i've got nothing else to do oh yeah how's it going <laughs> yeah how's um, it's, the business it's boring. um so yeah it's gonna launch next month i'm in the process of finalizing my um boxes personalized boxes and stuff and packaging okay. Um, so they're in production, which will be with me in like 20 days. That's the lead time. We'll keep up the good work and keep, keep us posted because I've got half of my followers are female. So, you know, I can <laughs> post out there for you. There's no problem with that anyway. So oh, that'd be great. If, if you could start your account again, mm -hmm. what would you change and why? Oh, that's a good one, actually. Um, what I would change... Oh God, there's like 
nothing really I wouldn't really change it I feel like you just have to do you could literally do anything I mean sometimes I'll post a dancing video where it's like an easy dance that I can do and they'll go give me like a lot more followers you know than sometimes me just singing to a camera and mime into a song so it really it doesn't I don't think it so if someone if you're doing something specific I don't think you have to just stick to that you can vary out to do exactly whatever you want to do you know I don't think okay. you have to stick to like one oh, I'm just going to mime to the music and that's all I'm going to be good at. You know, you can ve venture out and do whatever. And if it doesn't hit a view, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, it's. A, I think people are, are very hung up on, I sometimes am, to be fair, about the amount of views your video gets and get upset yeah. when it doesn't get many. But you are right, it's out there. I mean, sometimes I spend hours doing a video and put a lot of thought into it and it might get 100 views. And I think, well, what was that? You know, and one I've just, mm -hmm. one I've just done, to two seconds it took me to do a 30 second clip put it out there it gets a hundred thousand yeah. exactly <laughs> i feel like that's the case with everyone because even my friends they always said like if i'm sitting there and i put effort into it it flops completely whereas if i just lay in my bed and film a quick video where i look an absolute mess you know it gets hundreds and thousands and you're like oh can't, my god i can't imagine that ever being the case to be fair i can't imagine you ever looking a mess <laughs> And I've seen oh, the videos. You. You don't uh, have you got any inspiration, any uh, TikTok inspirations? And you obviously can't say me. Just say. <laughs> um, there's not. Uh, I mean, the, yeah, there's loads. Of you, everyone you look up to, and, and you know, any nice people. That's what I like. I like people that speak more. You know, speak up about certain topics and stuff. So, like, I'll just, I, yeah, I like. I like a lot of people, like I like everyone on TikTok, you know, I don't like anyone that takes, I feel like my For You page is actually quite, obviously it's related to what you like to watch the most. So I never come across people that I just wouldn't really like, because it's, I feel like it's just, yeah, I don't, I don't really enjoy that. So I feel like your For You page varies, obviously goes off your interests and your likes and things that you're looking at the most. So I'm quite lucky. So I always see like nice people on there. And I made loads of good friends on TikTok, which is nice. You must see me there an awful lot, though, but we won't go into that. Uh, anyway, <laughs> uh, what I, I mean, TikTok is a funny algorithm. Uh, are you of the ilk, and you've just touched on it there, are you on, do you think that you're only going to see, people think for you is random, the for you page is random. It's definitely I not. Personally, I don't think it's random. I think who you follow, who follows you, that is what they put. It definitely you. is. Like if you spend, and you'll notice it if you really pay attention to it. I found that if if I spend, say, most of my time watch, like if I spend most of my time on like certain videos, like rewatching it, I yeah. find that similar style of videos appear a lot more often. Or even people, yeah. like if I watch a, like a, someone, say I don't follow, but I will go on their page and I'll watch a few of their videos because there was one video on my For You page that I really liked. Then I'll click on the page, I'll have a little look, but I won't follow them or whatever happens. I will find that person will keep appearing on my For You page nonstop yeah. after that, even though I've never seen them before prior to that. They'll just be a constant. And I feel like that's what happens. It really is. And even my friends will be like, oh, have you seen this trend on TikTok? And I was like, that's not on my side of TikTok, which is weird. I feel like it really does what you yeah. watch, what you interact with the most, that's what pops up. So it's like, if you watch certain things, like my boss was like, oh, when I first started, it was just all girls on there. Now I started watching, he was like aircraft and joke stuff. Yeah. That's all he sees and he doesn't see any girls on there anymore. So I was, it just really depends like what you interact with the most. And I definitely believe that it's not random. Is your boss upset that he's not seen any more girls on there anymore? I wasn't sure where that went. <laughs> yeah, he is. I bet he is. He definitely is. He wouldn't admit it, but he definitely would be. <laughs> what's your What's your favourite video that you've done, Chrissy? Uh, my favourite? It would be, um, obviously, the one, the most one that I went viral was, like, I think I got, like, 3.6 million views. And it was the most random one because it genuinely was, I was sat on the couch, just finished work, and I was trying to come up with the video. I've already done pre like prior teeth videos for before and after. And I literally just put a couple of pictures together to like a song. And I went, I remember I just went and just filmed a quick after and it was literally on my bathtub 
in front of like LED light because I didn't have like I didn't even have a ring light at this point because I wasn't into TikTok at all so I stood yeah. at, at the top of my bath and I just filmed like the after and I just remember I posted it and like within two minutes I, I think it got like a thousand of views which is obviously for me it was like crazy already and the comments and likes that and I was like looking and every time I was refreshing I was like this is crazy and I was like ringing my friends like what is happening <laughs> <laughs> and then it didn't <laughs> stop so from the that's where it's it started feeling, yeah. it makes you feel good though doesn't it that people are watching your videos and they're pushing it out there yeah definitely yeah i think i think that's the that's the thing about tiktok it's a bit of a endorphin rush i find I when a video that. starts going well you start you start feeling better about yourself and it's a bit it gets built on your self-confidence as well which is the the important 100%, bit, really. yeah it, it is yeah confident. definitely have you got a favourite follower? Uh, I've got a couple actually. I've made like on since doing the lives, because I'm not native English. I used to I hate I hated my accent. I hate speaking on, especially if I heard a recording of my voice. I'd be like, oh, oh my god, what is you that? Sound amazing, by the way. You sound fantastic. It, oh, thank you. you. But I hated I hated my accent. So the thought of me speaking on camera to anyone, I dreaded that idea. And I thought when I was doing my videos, everyone was like, oh, you need to go live. Like, I want to get to know you and stuff. And I was just like, there's no way anyone's ever going to catch me on a live because I'm never going to, I'm never ah. going to like reveal my voice because I hated it. And then I, I think I just started, I did it with my friend first. It was kind of like nice to have someone there. And yeah. I think I got a few comments like, oh my God, I love your accent. I love your accent. And I think from there on, I was like, oh, do people actually like it? I don't sound like weirdo. So that's where it really stemmed from. And then since doing lives, I met like so many nice girls that actually keep in touch, like just outside of TikTok. So not just on lives. And it's like nice to see that, you know, they always come on, they say hello and then they stay and they watch for ages and they interact. And I just feel like your friends are there, which is really it's nice. So I've got a couple of favorites. It's what we need at the moment in lockdown anyway, isn't it? You've got to, you've got to be able to yeah. speak to the outside world, you know, and, and, and literally be a little bit, you know, a bit, a bit in contact with people. I've got okay. all my moderators now. I've got, I've got my mobile number. We have a little WhatsApp group that we discuss ideas and certain things we're going to yeah. do. And, and it's a great little, it's a great it little is, tool. Yeah. Uh, and I trust them. I trust them all, you know, make, make sure you grab my moderators. Uh, somebody's asking, can you say something in Lith Lithuanian? I mean, does Lithuania have TikTok? Uh, I don't know, actually. Does it have TikTok? I, I really wouldn't know if they do, how big the app is over there. The I've, I've had a few. Um, like, what would you like me to say? I can't think on the spot. Just give me a sentence and I'll say. You can say anything you want. I'll just say um, TikTok is an amazing app. I'm not sure how that will come out in Lithuania. Oh, I don't but... know. I don't even know how to word it. That I'll just say something like "Good evening, labas vakaras." Labas <laughs> vakaras. Oh, Look at that. It just sounds amazing. <laughs> yeah, you sound Sounds good. good. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah, look. I've had a few another, another people of... join on you. Another couple of questions, and then and then uh, we'll we'll I'll let you go for the weekend. What you got? What you got planned for the weekend? Anyway, Are you staying in? Not... I'm staying in. I mean, there's nowhere to go, nothing to do. I'm going to have a cheat day tomorrow. So that's what I'm looking forward to. I've got a cheat day. I'm going to end up, I'm going to go from the lounge to the kitchen and I'm going back in the kitchen to the lounge. That's my <laughs> weekend. Um, have, you, have you got um, a favourite trend on TikTok that you've tried? Favourite trend? Uh, yeah. Oh, my God. I live with it. You know, the um, the food is food related. It was those tortilla wrap things that was yeah. going viral, how to like fold them up. Um, yeah. I live, but I live by that every single day. That's all I have for lunch, and it's like really? the, the, the nicest thing ever. <laughs> Could you not get them in Lithuania then? But I never knew how to make them, and then someone did it the way they fold it up and stuff, and I was like, oh my god, how did no one ever show this before? Or I ever thought about it. So I literally do that every single day. That's all I have for lunch is like ham and cheese, pizza wrap. Tortilla it's whatever, you, whatever you can put whatever you can put in it and fit in fold it you've got to know how to fold it i have to teach my yeah. mother or i to fold it every single time <laughs> I try to do it again uh, look one last question for you is it chrissy or christina what do you prefer I've christina apologies i, I see chrissy no, no, say that. Is fine. i just i changed my tiktok name a while back 
Oh, that's good. It's just so people can't really find you. I get that. I that's what it thing. was. It actually yeah, was. I keep mind you just my name so I don't hide Big, anything. I was, I, was, I was in work and these a group of lads walked in and they were like, oh my God, I've seen your TikToks. And I thought, no, that's not happening. So I went home that night and I changed my name. Oh, well, bless you. <laughs> <laughs> you should be proud that people have seen your TikToks. That's good. That's yeah, it should it be. But like when you're serving someone, it's a bit different, I feel like. Yeah, no, I go out, I go out, TikTok sent me this 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 uh this hoodie and I go to the shop purposely so I try and get recognized. No one's <laughs> ever, no one's ever recognized me yet. I've even got a be I've got a beanie hat as well that they sent me. Oh, I, I like wear that. that. <laughs> I go like that. I go like that to the shop and not one person <laughs> right, I'm like, come on, I want what, come what do one, I need? One day it'll happen one day. One day, one day. But one final question, one final question. If you could give uh, the viewers one tip or trick to get big on TikTok uh, uh, without doing their teeth, uh, what, would, <laughs> what would you think? What would you think? What would you sell them? I just say be consistent. You know, it's so easy to give up because you see, like for me, even now, you know, I post a video and sometimes you'll get loads of views, like hundreds of thousands or whatever. And then it flops. And then you think, what's the point? It could be a consecutive, like four or five days where you're getting, you know, a thousand views or 500 when you're used to say 20, 30, 40, 50 and so on. You see that number and you think, well, what's the point? Because clearly it's just not going anywhere. But I think you just have to stay consistent and just keep posting, you know, just make sure, yeah, just be consistent. That's all I can really give advice. Right. It doesn't matter if one hits off, one doesn't, as the consistency will make you have some sort of a following because people will just, you have to post. Like I try and post two times a day. Yeah. And even if it flops, it doesn't matter. If it doesn't, like if I hit loads of, like I might just remove one of the videos if it's got like 200 views because in the, what it looks like in the video, you know, and the, all the surroundings are like 10,000s. I might just put one on my private. I don't delete videos because apparently that messes up with your algorithm. So I just put it on but as who private. Knows what, who knows what what goes on with the algorithm? Who knows what you goes no on? No idea. With that? But yeah, just consistency is definitely key. So just don't be discouraged when your views are not going up and stuff. You know, you just have to carry on mm -hmm. trying to just go through with it anyway. Well, Chrissy, look, thank you for your time. I appreciate you coming on. Uh, you are in the inaugural people uh, that have been on in my interviews. I've got another 20 people booked into interview that have got oh, over 100 thousand followers. And I'm also, this video, it gets recorded. I put it on YouTube. So if you want to watch it back later and listen to your own amazing voice, you can do that. <laughs> I probably won't. <laughs> ah, bless you. And please make sure you when you finish going live you come in and network in the room make sure you connect with my moderators as well that'll be brilliant but thank you for coming on and spending time oh, with thank us thank you for having me and well we'll see you soon if i want to have you on again in the future maybe when you're on two hundred and fifty thousand followers <laughs> we'll get you back on again it won't be long it won't be long and keep oh, smiling thank you thanks for today okay, thank you Chris. take care bye, bye. The guy, she underscore 95, the first of our interviewees tonight. She was, a, what an amazing smile. It makes you want to get mine done. Like, what do you think? Looks good, doesn't it? Mine looks okay, to be fair, but look at that. That was absolutely brilliant, right? She had 110,000 followers. We've only got a minute left, and then we're going to get in Joe Fish 92 Practical joker, apparently. A bit of a, a, bit of a joker. If you're watching on my other account, which is over here, which is my Thomas underscore Lorimer, make sure you go over to that side on my other account, which is Thomas Lorimer underscore, and you'll be able to get on there. Uh, and that's where the gifting is. That's where the uh, the charity is over this side. Don't forget, guys, it's all in aid of British Red Cross. Uh, the Red Cross is what we're doing tonight. I might be changing back to Comic Relief next week, but we'll see where we're going from there. Any gifting that you do in this live goes to the British Red Cross. Uh, I've now, on Monday... Uh, I'm waiting to book two people, so I'll, I'll let you know who they are of the weekend. Um, there's you with the pint, and there's me with the pint milk. It's my Liverpool one. Look, I've got my Liverpool, uh, my Liverpool uh, pint. My nan bought me that, I think. Should we go and see if Joe Fisher's ready? Let's go and see if he's.